Hello YouTube! So, I was doing a little filming for the latest video, which is going to be about uh, Solid Hydrogen Rebusted. And in true uh, busting style, I decided to do some uh, little experiments in the lab with sodium hydride. I had some sodium hydride, long story. So sodium hydride's are interesting stuff in that um, it's a sort of grayish, whitish powder. And it reacts with water to give hydrogen and uh, sodium hydroxide. So as you can see, um, not a lot really happens when it's falling down towards hitting the water. But let me see if I can tweak with the play speeds here. Uh, whatever, Let, let's just stick with this for the moment. And we hit the water and not a lot happens. That's really not very impressive. Right? Uh, that wasn't very impressive. And then, um, oh, <laughs> and this is just gorgeous up at the top here. So you can see the sort of instant, the, you know, the, this is the hydrogen burning. And of course, as it burns, it gets very hot. And there's lots of little particles of, um, in fact, this, this, this is uh, iron emission. This is the, the sodium line, but it's absolutely gorgeous. Uh, also, that's the human reflex time. My, my pulling my hand away at the, <laughs> at the top there. It's just a fairly spontaneous reaction. And you just laugh at these glorious little sparks at the end. And yeah. Uh, so uh, when, when you initially, uh, you can just burn sodium hydride and it gets hot enough, the, the hydrogen burning will cause the decomposition of the rest of the sodium hydride. So uh, basically, if you burn sodium hydride, you get sodium left afterwards. I mean, obviously, if you get it hot enough, you'll burn the sodium as well, but... Uh, let's, let's, let's come back again and enjoy the pure juicy goodness of, yeah. So <laughs> instantly we go into graphical slow motion and things falling upwards. Um, but I want to blow that up a bit. So how are we going to do this? Let's try. Five times. <laughs> that might be a bit much. Uh, let's see what we can do. Oh. Yeah. Pushing pushing the limits of the resolution here. But. Um, and is that actually the value of at the top of the frame? Okay, good. So. That looks so unreal. It, you know, it's like spacecrafts being burned by the sun. Um, okay, so that, that's kind of fun. Let, let's come back again and trace our flame. Let's take a close look at the ignition sequence start. Backwards. Okay. So this was just, by the way, the very first attempt at doing this. This, uh, you know, so I didn't put too much light on this because I kind of, I well, I didn't, you don't really know with these things um, what the light levels going to be like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that kind of burns out a bit. But obviously, if I if I'd have exposed it for watching the the flame here, you would see absolutely nothing. Um, you know, so I gauged it such that it was going to be um fairly dark um with the the whole frame shot. And I kind of figured there was, this, this is the weird thing. Hydrogen burns with an almost colorless flame, but it's quite a hot flame. You know, 
uh, it's about 3,000 degrees Celsius, uh, which is, you know, sort of typical flame temperatures. But that's enough that if you get little sodium particles in there, you get the sodium emission, uh, which is what you're looking at there. Oh, no. Sorry. There we go. That's a nice full screen. Um, so it's clear the, uh, it, it, it's generating loads of hydrogen already, and it's just this one little ignition source that, that burns everything. And of course, when it does that, it also generates loads of heat. Um, and these hydrides, they decompose when they get hot. So, you know, it's just an autocatalytic auto thing. So even though what you're probably looking at here is actually the combustion of, it's not so much the powder, it's that the flame gets hot enough that it decomposes the sodium hydride and, um, yeah, that's that's what gives you the rest. But nonetheless, it's just Yeah, let's go through that one more time, but with more sensible speed. There we go. That's just beautiful. Very therapeutic. So the thing you could set to, to music, you know, the the rebirth of the phoenix or something. Anyway, yeah. So that's basically uh, all all I got for today. Um, yeah, it was just fun. Uh, this wasn't the high speed footage I was talking about that I wanted to show you all. That's actually something completely different. Um, it's about electrostatics, also kind of fun. But hey, <laughs> things things go boom can be fun as well. Anyway, if you enjoyed that, drop a thumbs up on it, and I will see you next time.